Good morning from Vanessa. So we arrived in Vanessa last night after a lovely two hour train delay. So we got here about nine o'clock um, and had a little wander around whilst the sun was setting, which was lovely. And we've just been for breakfast this morning and we're just going on a hike. So we're just gonna go up to a couple of viewpoints and get some photos um, and then just explore for the day. We're off to Florence this afternoon. So we're just going to wander around and it's an absolutely beautiful day. So hopefully it should be quite nice. And this one's being very antisocial today on his phone. I've worn the most appropriate hiking attire, of course. Oh. <laughs> Oops. the vineyards over here and the little town down there. Stop it! <laughs> but we've still got I'm not inclined to go. To go. We've got our seafood and our beers on the beach. What more do you want? So our time in Monte Rosso is up. We're heading back. Time for another two hour trek. And we're hoping we get a pretty clear route because our train is at 10 to 5. And it's now like half two and it's a two hour trek. So here we go. And we're off. On the way down, there was like what felt like a million steps down, so we've got all of this, <laughs> all of this to look forward to. I'm out of breath already. Tiny, tiny bit to go. We've made good time as well. It's only 20 to 4. Beautiful. Most hike ice cream. Well deserved. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is so nice. One of them's like a Made with wine. Mm. I just had a massive them, piece of chocolate in my. It's ricotta, cheesecake, and figs. Mm. Oh my god, I made these balls.
ragazzi. <laughs> Come stai? Molto bene. Good morning from beautiful and sunny Florence. So we are now in Florence. We arrived last night after a quick stop in Cinque Terre. And it's really sunny and it's really warm. And it was a long day and our legs hurt this morning. Yeah, we did like 23,000 steps yesterday and about 178 floors or something on my Fitbit. <sighs> I'm a bit exhausted. But we're in Florence, we're gonna do some exploring. We were gonna try and do a cookery course or like a wine tasting thing, but they're all, all of the timings just don't work for us, unfortunately. And they're all quite expensive. So we're just gonna have a wander and explore. Um, we've been to San Lorenzo Market this morning and oh my god, the food looked incredible. We wish we hadn't have had breakfast already because it just looked amazing. But we might go back there later and get some nice cheese and wine and have a cheese and wine night watching the sunset. It's so romantic! <laughs> <laughs> and later we're going to be watching the Chelsea Man U match. Go on Chelsea! Look at what the colours are. Sadly it clashes with sunset, so... So we'll get a few beers and watch it. Meanwhile, somebody has a football on here. I look well shiny. Come on, Chelsea. We're just at where are we? Fiatsal Michelangelo. Uh, Michelangelo with some Chianti, some red wine, which is very nice. I'm not usually a red wine drinker, but this is lovely. Recommended by Beth. Thanks, Beth. It's lovely. <laughs> what are you doing? Beth? Beth? Beth told me to get Chianti in Florence and try red wine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, Beth. And we just had a pizza as well. And it's just beautiful. It's really, really busy up here, though. But it's so nice. And there's music playing, which is lovely, too. And Chelsea are winning one now. Priorities. Two nights. <laughs> it looks well nice. Yeah, it looks cozy. It's very festive though, we've got a reef on the door. 
morning. We are now in Rome. Good morning. We are just walking to the Colosseum. We think we can see it, but I'm not sure. sure. <laughs> My eyes watering so bad. Have you got a tissue? It's literally streaming. So yeah, we're just in Rome. We're gonna go up to the Colosseum and then just explore around. We're gonna go to the Trevi Fountain and Pathion, the Spanish Steps. Ugh. It looks like it's gonna rain today, but it's really warm and clammy. Hopefully the sun will come out a bit later. But I'm excited to be in Rome. Hey, me too. And then after Rome, we've got Naples and then Sorrento. And that's it. Raining again. We're just about to arrive at the Trevi Fountain. It's raining again. But it should still be really busy. So busy, so many people. It's like. Ah. Just got hit with my first brolly. Fantastic. steps when it's right opposite Sephora. Still Got a strong feeling that Rome has been rained off for the day. I think it's time for tiramisu. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Mm. My waterproof is no longer waterproof because it's been raining that much. Strawberry tiramisu and a cannoli. Mm. Yummy. I'm supposed to be at the Basilica at 7 a.m. and it's now nearly 10. <laughs> We're just having breakfast. And make it. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a little bit quiet. We got caught amongst a lot of organised tours. So this is our last day in Rome today. We were supposed to be up and going to up, um, St. Peter's Square. We we're aiming to get there between seven and eight. I don't we didn't get out of bed till late. Some people later. Um, but anyway, we decided to go there in the afternoon so we've got loads of time. We've not got too much more to do here, so. Um, we're just going to go to the Pantheon again now to see if we can see it now it's sun shining. Um, and we've been to another interesting church as well, which was really pretty inside. And then we'll head to St. Peter's Square and then we've got a train to Naples later. You can probably tell from the bags under my eyes that we are very tired. But we've just got too much to do, we can't afford to lie in too much, can we? No. But maybe in Sorrento we'll have a bit more chill time.
We're just going, oh, we're climbing up the dome. And it's really slanted, it's so weird. So we've just come back to the Spanish steps. Now it's nice and sunny again. And they're busy as they should be. from Pompeii. We arrived in Sorrento last night and as you can see the weather is fantastic. Um, so we came out to Pompeii this morning on the train. The train was a little bit dodgy not gonna lie. Um, it's renowned for pickpockets so um, we were being extra careful and then we got here we actually went back to sleep after breakfast so we're staying in a little um, kind of like Airbnb but we didn't book it through Airbnb and the lady provides breakfast which is basically just cakes so we just had loads of different cakes for breakfast which was fab um, and then we got the train to Pompeii so we've just been walking around so actually like half past six now so we've been walking around for nearly five hours again my feet are killing but hopefully tomorrow we're heading to Sorrento, so that should be it for the massive walk. So we should be chilling for a bit from there. So we're just gonna head back to Naples, get some food and probably just chill this evening. from Naples today. <laughs> I'll hand over to Emma now. <laughs> I wasn't actually going to say anything, I was just going to show us walking along all nice and smiley. <laughs> and me looking really shiny from my sun cream. <laughs> but the sun is out and Runs we're around. just wandering around. We really wanted to go up Vesuvius but the clouds in the background are where, pretty much where Vesuvius is so we figured it'd be best just to chill today. Had a nice little lion, more cakes for breakfast, and now we're just wandering. And then we're getting the boat to Sorrento. Yay. And then we've only got three full days left after today. But hopefully the weather's gonna be like this for the rest of the trip. Right, beefs, I've got a game for you. How quickly can you say coconut over and over again? Are you ready? Do you want to go first or shall I? You go first, show me how it's done. Coconut, 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 coconut. Okay. That was good actually. Here you go. Go on. Coconut, 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 coconut. Got my tickets now. 
Greg's literally just had to run for the tickets because we only had our print out of our online confirmation. He was like, no, no, you need the tickets. He literally had like two minutes. 